my dear friends, crafters, knitters, everybody who came to my channel, you are with Vita Crafts today. And uh, I just passed for a short uh, video for you, for a short tutorial for you. I'm um, finishing this pullover and uh, I make the open parts here on my laterals. This part, this is front with a quite large rib stitch here and behind it will be a little bit longer. I want it uh, longer back. You see this is just still a normal stitch which I use for the sweater and here I start my uh, small um, my uh, one to one rib stitch which I finish my favorite one with a long uh, stitches and uh, basically what I want to show you today how I make these lovely edges here if you see they are quite nice I make here I cord on two stitches and it's very easy to do and when you use uh, when you make some um, some piece with open edges this is a very good way to make them because it looks nice and you have stitches from both sides. And then I will show you how I make this lovely edge, this very stretchable, very nice um, uh, cast off for your pieces, which looks exactly uh, as your Italian cast on. If you don't familiar, you you can uh, find the video on my on my um, your channel. Here you see I have a sleeve, and I made it the same way. You need a needle, and you we will sew it. But uh, now I want to show you basically about edge it's i cord edge for my i cord i used two stitches you can use three stitches it will be the same way beautiful and nice edge uh, basically i will i will say you theoretically uh, how you use it you you have two stitches two knit stitches on the beginning of every row and two um purl stitches on the end of the row. If you use three stitches, it will be three purl stitches on the end of the row and three knit stitches on the beginning of the row. Basically what you will do. On the end of every row, you will just um, Leave, leave your stitches without making them and on the beginning of the row you will knit them with knit stitches. Here I finish my row. I just wanted to show you this will be uh, passing uh, this line passing out and then it looks like three but it's two. And then here is my yarn and I don't, I just pull these two stitches from left needle to the right needle and then I turn my work let me show you beginning of the row and then end of the row and then you will understand better what I mean here we are and my yarn here is between second and third uh, stitch what I do I just knit both of them one two and then I continue my rib stitch my special rib stitch which you do one knit one purl on the right side and then let me make this row and I'll see you on the final to show you what you do on the other end. Here I am on the final of my row. Here are my last stitches, purl and knit stitch. And then you have two stitches, two purls 
and what you do you pull your yarn in the front and just take them both from this from left needle to the right needle this is you not do them on the end of the row and then after this when you turn your work you do the same thing you just knit them one two and this will be your edge and after this was that what i do in my in my favorite uh, rib stitch on the second row instead purl this one i just take it out with my yarn in front and then i knit one and take one with yarn in front of my work and this is how i do my lovely rib stitch with looks from right side very nice always very straight and with this lovely uh, long stitches uh, when I will come to the end I will show you my my lovely magic um, and perfect cast off see you later okay here we are I did my rib stitch on the um, high I needed and now we will make our magic and beautiful cast off for this um, we will need to do two more rows which will make a part of cast off you don't include it on your own number of your rows this will be two rows which will make a part of this lovely edge we will do them absolutely the same uh, let me just try to take it oh my god it's so big it's also at a ready already let me put it this way for you to see uh, then um, both of these um, rows will be the same uh, now we, we will do our two stitches of our I cord and then will be the same thing when we see pearl we just take it off with a uh, yarn on um, yarn uh, on our side then we knit one and take another one and then we go this uh, row and then back row we will do absolutely the same we will knit one and we will uh, take pearl one with a thread in front of the stitch see you later here I came to the end of the road I need my this one I just take and the last two I take as well because it's make a part of our two stitches I cord then I turn my work and I repeat the same row I'll do my two I cord and then I see the knit stitch I knit it and pearl I take out absolutely the same two rows which will prepare our cast off and uh, guys one more thing if you are walking in rows you just do uh, same thing on the first row you knit knit stitch and take a uh, purl stitch and on the second row you will purl purl stitch and take your knit stitch like this with your yarn behind you purl and take out this is in case when you're walking on rows now i'm walking both sides then i'll do the way i i, I showed you previously okay my darling here we are ready for our cast off we made our two rows and now I have my needle 
sewing needle. I, I have a special one for for uh, knitwear, which is big and with no sharp point. I love it. Very good, nice and with a big uh, hole here to put my uh, yarn. And uh, now we need to cut yarn, and it need to be quite long tail it, it need to be at least three times a piece which you need to to sew I prefer to have bigger than than smaller uh, this is the way how I put it I just do this and then it's very easy to put in it will be kind of difficult for me now because oh my god I have all these cables here anyway let's let's start um, I have these two um, two stitches here of my uh, lovely edge and I will enter from from back side to the first stitch uh, let me see yes this way to don't twist it and and then I will enter from back side to front to my knit stitch this way and then the um, process will be all the same for all stitches you have your this will be your uh, purl stitch and here you, we have our knit stitches and here we have our purl stitches which on other side are knit stitches as well and what you will do you will turn your work find this stitch where you get out with your with your uh, thread you will enter it on it from uh, front to back this side and then you will take next stitch and enter from back to the front and it will be the same uh, you see it's <laughs> the same process from your both sides you will do this on this side and then on this side the same look here you have your stitch where your where your th uh, yarn is getting in or out whatever you enter on this stitch and you need to see it to don't twist your stitches you enter this way and you take next one opposite way you enter and get out enter from one side and get out from behind and then you can take it out don't push too much this will be your um, your uh, sewing part here you turn your and you see the same stitch with line out you enter in it and you go to the next one this way to don't stitch to 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 not twist it you see and then you continue like this till the end you enter and get out on one side and then you go to the back side I, I usually just pull it here it's for me more comfortable you I'd enter in this stitch and get out from next one and enter in this one and get out from next one and let me just show this what you need to have some kind of round and nice edge which will be very stretchable as well and this will look like a fabric uh, edge you see let me do a couple more you just observe 
Don't push too much. And continue this way. You see, nothing very complicated. Just enter the stitch before and take a new one. And this you repeat from both sides. Uh, basically, this is it. This is how your edge will look like. Here I am on the final stitches. Just wanted to show you how I will close this last ones. Here I'm getting this and then I take this one, last one, because that one will go to the back side. It's our, what I, I take it and leave this here and I put in here then I turn and take my stitch where is it here my stitch I pull it a little bit yeah I take this one and the last one I leave my needles and then I come back to this one and go to that one again and here we are we finished and now I just go inside and now I just need to, to fix my I go through this line here, a couple of stitches. This way. I do this, and then as I have here, kind of tube. I can just go inside and pass my needle through a lot of stitches. You see, it will stay inside and now I can cut it. Here we are. Here how it looks like and now we are ready to wash and see how it look like on uh, my jumper when it's ready you see uh, back side is a little bit longer and here all our perfect edges from both sides and that's it. Congratulations for today.